all right so now let's implement the routing in the application for which we are going to use the react router dom package now before we can implement the routing we first need to have the different screens so let's do that now within the source folder we are going to create a components directory which will contain all the different components and the different screens in the app so within this we will be creating different folders one for each screen so starting with the very first one which is the home let's call it the same now within the home let's create an index.js within which we will be creating the home screen so over here let's create a functional component using the same prefix as such and we can remove the react as we are using the latest version which is like above 17.0 we don't really need to import react for the purpose of using jsx in a component or a file so over here let's rename it as home and let's for the time being let's just add the text of home as such now we need to do the same thing for the two other screens let's create another folder within the components and we can name it as bookmarks again an index.js and we can actually copy the same thing from the home over here let's change the name the text of home to be of bookmarks and let's do the same thing for the last screen and we can name it as definition as such and let's create the index.js the same stuff we just need to replace the text to be of this okay so that's perfect and now that we have the three different components or to say the three different screens we just need to implement the routing so within the app component let's import two things from the react router dom package the first one is browser router so this thing wraps all the different routes in our application and we normally rename it as router the other thing which we need to import is route by the way we are importing browser router and using the as keyword we can rename the import name like the we can set the name in which we want to refer it with so we are importing browser router and we are renaming it as router and the other thing which we need to import is route which is used to display content if the user's path matches to the provided one or to say it is used to register a screen to a specific path so over here below the css baseline we will be adding the router component which will wrap all the different routes in the application and then we need to add in the routes let's do that so adding in the first one let's provide the path which has to be the root one which is the slash as such then within this we need to add the component which should be displayed if the user's path matches to this thing which is the root of the application so on this one we need to display the home page let's import that the home component and one second okay so we need to import home make sure that you import the right one because sometimes the auto import may import the the icon from the material icons package so i think let me just open it over here and then try it again and there we have it okay so now if i save it i should be seeing or to say we should be seeing the home page right over here as we are on the root of the application now in the same way we can copy the same thing and add in the other routes so the other one we can work on the bookmarks for which we need to display the bookmarks component let's do that and in the same way we need to work on the definition one which will be pretty interesting now for the definition it is not supposed to be a static path like the other two that we have the home and the bookmarks 
because the definition component or the definition path has to like it will be used for the for whatever word that the user searched for so for this the way that we can construct is construct it is that for the path we can provide a search and for the second segment of the path we can provide the colon and any id which will be used for that specific segment or to say for that specific param so over here let's display the definition first in this way and let me just separate it out mm, okay so now let's manually change the path to be of bookmarks if we do that we are seeing the home page as well as the bookmarks now the thing is the route component this thing that we are using in order to display the component based upon the path that the user is currently on it works in a sort of like a global way so it tries to match the path in a global way which means that if this thing over here is a part of the path that the user is currently on then it thinks that this component should be displayed so we have to explicitly tell the route component to only display the home page if the path the user's path matches to this thing exactly like it's, it's exactly the same thing so for that we just need to provide the exact prop in such a way so if we do that we will be seeing the bookmarks right over here but if we get to the home page which is the root there we have the home one so that's perfect and now let's check for the search one so over here we need to get to the search and we need to display we need to provide the word so the way it's going to work is that when the user enters anything over here we push the user to the specific path i think you do get the idea we take the word which the user entered and we provide it in the url in such a way oops i think it in such a way and the respective component is displayed so in that way if we pass in any word as such it's going to match to this particular component and that's what we have over here the definition one is being displayed because this path matches to this thing that we have added so that's great so now let's work on the very first component which is the home page that we have over here second all right so for the home page 